right, so what is going on today, YouTube? We are back with game three. Game three against these Paleozoic frogs. And I look 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 at the hand. The hand is okay. The hand is very okay. The ash blossom is so good, man. It's so good. Um, so I'm glad I'm sided I sided in these cards game three. That's how you're supposed to side. When you go in second, you're supposed to side in reactive stuff. And then if you go in first, you're supposed to uh, side in cards that are that will help you continue your play or stuff like that so <clears throat> as you can see this man was just he was trying to get he was trying to get the spell book of prophecy just going off the top and i'm like hey whoa 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 man calm calm down man you, you, you're doing too much you're going too fast um so yeah man i'm like jesus christ and then like i, I go to check the log to see if he uh puts the card back uh I'm just, uh, I go, go to check the log to see if he puts the card, the actual cards back and stuff like that. And then I tell him to shuffle because there are certain cards in his deck that like send or change the, like if he, you know, Paleozoic Morella, if he knows that there's a good card coming up, he's not going to use it, stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, but you got to shuffle. So <clears throat> as you can see here, I top deck the Goblin Zombie and that's, that's, that's amazing. You know why folks, I'm pretty sure you guys all know why. Uh, top decking, uh, what's the name? Book of Life is very good. I mean, not Book of Life, but Goblin Zombie is very good because Ash Blossom is also a tuner and a zombie. So, uh, man, this this card right here, I, I you know what? I, I didn't want, I, I did not want to play it because I don't really play too many hand traps in my main deck, but I do like to side hand traps, but I don't really like to main it. But this card right here, man, every every time I play with it, it's getting better and better and better and better. Um, and right now, what we're going to do is definitely go into a black rose because he has three back row, and I'm not about to f I'm attack through all of them. Just you know, go to a black rose, blow the board. If he has something to stop it, then I can do. But I do get a goblin zombie search. He cannot stop that. I actually he could stop it. Like if you have a strike and then another strike, he can definitely stop it. Or like a warning or strike, he can definitely stop it. But if the summon goes through, there's nothing he can do about a goblin zombie search. So I go activate Black Rose. I'm saying uh, I, I form my chain links and I ask, do you got to, you know, pretty much do you have a response? And does he have a response, folks? Does he? And if you can, you know, if you probably already seen the length of this video. You guys can t definitely tell he does not have a response. So that is good. We get to blow up three cards and we get to search with Goblin Zombie. So pretty much, look, look at that. We're, we're just plus three on him. We're plus three on him, and we have a DD Crow just in case of a swap frog, or just in case if he has something that just re requires the graveyard, or like if he has if he draws into a trap, then we can you know DD Crow his what's the name? We can DD Crow one of his uh one of his Paleozoic cards, um yeah. So that's that's just that's just pretty good. I feel like we're in good hands. Then he tops deck swap frog, and I, I still I still got upset. I still got upset, and then I looked at my hand. And then I wasn't upset no more. So he goes for the swap frog play, uses swap frog's effect to bounce. And I believe the new ruling on swap frog is that you can only bounce once. Now, if you guys will let me know if that's incorrect for the TCG, but I know in the OCG you can only bounce once. I don't know what they came up with to make it, uh, you know, to make it not work. But yeah, you can only bounce once. So. I'm not too afraid, and even if you could bounce twice, I, all I had to do was just go into an Omega, and then, like I said, I would have got it out of his hand regardless. So I take a thousand. He goes to bounce the Swap Frog, and I, you know I let him know. I say, "Hey, man, you can only bounce once per turn." So uh, <clears throat> as, as, far, as far as I'm concerned, that is uh, that is uh, correct. I was looking on the uh, the uh, the actual text of Swap Frog to see if they change it to like that but as far as i know it doesn't and i top deck a pre-prep which is just which is just stupid and then my opponent concedes because it's like damn man well i'm not about to play against this shit. i thought that the, the, the pre-prep was amazing so as you can see that is the end of the match uh sadly it wasn't the you know the you know the greatest back and forth for the last duel but you know we did end up with a victory so man I, I just love Ash Blossom. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun blanking it. Let me know if you guys like these little dueling book uh, dueling book matches and stuff like that. I'll definitely do some more. Uh, yeah, so leave it in the comments below. And if you guys would like to support the channel, 
all you have to do is click and add and that would be very helpful so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow